How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Today I wanted to talk about a wall of inspiration, right? Your own creation, all depends what you want to put up on it, right? And this is basically where you take photographs, images, um, anything that you can think of that will inspire you or motivate you and you stick it up on a wall um, somewhere in your house, right? You know, put them um, anywhere where you, you're going to be sort of in, in constant contact, you know? I mean, arrange these things in whatever way you want to. I don't, I don't think it matters, you know? I think the way you arrange them is going to be the best way. Um, and they can be sort of images of people that you find uh, inspirational, motivational, you know, whether that's uh, past, present, um, whether it's fictional characters or real people, you know, whether it's people from the business world or people from the art world, or whatever it is, um, people in, that, in your own family, in your own circles that you find uh, inspiration from, you know, put pictures of them up on your walls. Another thing that you can put up there are images of skills that you'd like to achieve you know if you're if you want to do uh, have a career in a certain area of life put up um, a picture of that what represents that for you if you want to get a, a, uh, an education in a certain area if you want to get a skill in a certain area then you know find an image that represents that and stick that up on your wall um, another thing could be things that you want in life you know material things and there's nothing wrong with material things you know have the house that you would you would like the house of your dreams, the car of your dreams. Um, if you're single, you could stick up the girl of your dreams or the boy of your dreams, whatever it is. You know, you know the whole point of this is just so that it's there. It's like a process of osmosis, right? They say when you're learning a language that you immerse yourself in the language, listen to a lot of um, conversation in that language, and eventually you you start to pick out words, you start to deconstruct sentences. Uh, and you get the meaning of things by sort of repetitively listening over and over again. And it doesn't have to be um, a conscious thing. It's all sort of a subconscious process. And it's the same with this um, this wall, this inspirational wall, right? You just, it's there. It's all the time in your sight and you see it as you're walking by. And, and these pictures and stuff, they start to get a grip on your mind. And you can use them in your visualizations, you know, when you're sitting down and you're, um, sort of meditate on something then think about um, what you want in life you know and think about yourself in that position of getting those things so I just thought it was a simple thing uh, for today just a wall of inspiration uh, it doesn't have to be a massive wall just a few pictures here and there um, but something that will really charge you up and every time you see this it's going to motivate you to keep the alcohol behind you and push yourself forward into what you want in your new life so until next time uh, Stay safe, keep the alcohol out of your mouth. I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Onwards and upwards. Take care.